Okay guys, so the Wig Whisperer has laid out all of her tools that she needs to create this amazing wig. So you've got the Japanese mesh cap, you've got the grab clip that I mentioned, um, I call it a hair clip or a grab clip, and then you've got the pins that she's laying out now, scissors, the hair obviously, a comb or a brush, hair pins, and there is the wig block. And it's camped to the table as you can see. So now the wig cap is being put onto the wig block, making sure that it's nice and fitted so there's no movement when the lace closure and the wefts are being sewn onto the wig cap. Make sure it's nice and tight. <laughs> closure is now being put onto the wig cap so it's just gonna cut off the lace before you start obviously cutting the lace and then you'll pin down the wig so it doesn't move and you know where you're going to sew it down makes it easier when you're sewing it down as well You can see the pins being placed just to make sure the lace closure is in the right position, ready to be sewn down. As you can see, the wig whisperer is not sewing the lace from the bottom of the lace, she's sewing it right where the hair and the lace end because the tracks will be sewn to the rest of the lace later on once the wig is almost finished up. Although the lace closure has been pinned down you still need to make sure it's secure by using your fingers to hold it down, sew it down as tight as possible, not pull in too hard because you don't want to rip the lace but you want to make it nice and secure as it looks right now. Sewing on the wefts. Started from the bottom, quite close to the bottom, just so there's no big space from the bottom to where the first track starts. Just sewing it down. Remember to sew the weft as tight as possible. You don't want anything to be loose, it just won't look good and it won't last long at all. Just make sure you sew it down nice and secure as you have sewn down the lace closure. you've noticed that the wefts are not being cut they are being folded over in my experience when you do cut wefts the hair does shed a lot more so this will preserve the hair in a way and prevent shedding <laughs>
the wefts are being sewn quite close together this will ensure that the wig isn't spacey and gappy and it allows you to pack more hair in there if you want to at the start of the video that the weft will be sewn onto the excess lace which the wig whisperer is doing right now as you can see sew it up girl complete I know it looks like a bush but it's going to look amazing once it's styled up now for the final touch for this unit because we did use a lace closure we need to cut out the area underneath the lace closure otherwise you will have a black scalp and nobody has a black scalp so what the wig whisperer is doing right now is cutting around the area where the lace closure is because she's done a gazillion wigs, she can do it quite quickly, but if you're doing it for the first time, make sure you're taking care, taking your time, because you don't want to get to the end of the unit and it just messes up. complete just got a couple of pictures to show you at the end of this video